What up, science? It's me, Michael Swaim, sharing what we apprehended in investigating Martians, or Venusians, or wherever those UAPs, formerly known as UFOs, might all be coming from. The U.S. government was compelled to produce a report on what it does and doesn't know about UFOs slash UAPs on June 25th. And now that we've had enough time to sift through it, we're ready to go over the findings and explain at long last what they actually are. Are you ready for the definitive answer on UAPs? Last episode, I told you about newly discovered superstructures of dark matter that connect distant galaxies in ways scientists previously thought impossible. So before you dismiss the idea of sentient extraterrestrial visitors out of hand, just remember how much we still don't know about the universe and potential ways to travel through it. That said, no one will say it's aliens. Damn you, Office of the Director of National Intelligence, just say it's aliens. There's been more pressure on the government to say something since a slew of credible UAP sighting videos started making the rounds online. But as you might have expected, they're still not saying much. The nine-page report from ODNI analyzed 144 reports of UAP between the years 2004 and 2021, but they deemed any explanation for mysterious aircraft, quote, largely inconclusive. Boo! However, the report does say that in a limited number of incidents, UAP reportedly appeared to exhibit unusual flight characteristics. Though whether this is the result of human or systems error, spoofing, or other explanations requires further analysis. In other words, UFOs do exist, and they do seem to defy our current understanding of how flying stuff moves. But we still don't know what they are. The U remains in full effect. In all, 18 incidents in 21 reports were observed to have unusual UAP movement patterns or flight characteristics. The report goes on. Some UAP appeared to remain stationary in winds aloft, move against the wind, maneuver abruptly, or move at considerable speed without discernible means of propulsion. In a small number of incidents, some systems even picked up radio frequency energy along with these UAP sightings. That would imply the UAP was indeed technological in nature, and not just a large deflating balloon, as was hilariously discovered in one case. The flash of light you saw in the sky was not a UFO. Swamp gas from a weather balloon was trapped in a thermal pocket and refracted the light from Venus. But if a balloon zipping around the sky, farting itself every which way, can be mistaken for a credible UAP sighting, who's to say what real UAPs actually are? or if they even exist. One tangible result of all this is the founding of an unidentified aerial phenomenon task force. The UAPTF has requested additional funding for research and development to help expand its data collection and hopefully come up with some more concrete conclusions. In 2020, legislation was passed that asked the UAPTF to collect all currently available information regarding mysterious flying objects and present a detailed analysis of their findings. Findings, hence this report, and hopefully more better ones in the future. Well, ultimately the goal was to uncover whether foreign forces may have access to unknown aerial advancements rather than finding aliens. The report presented still allows for a wide range of possibilities. We simply don't know. And in that vacuum of information, please allow me to insert a wild theory that has more scientific grounding than you might think time travel. Hear me out. Now, obviously, it would be really, really cool if it turned out that UAPs are intelligent aliens. I mean, it would finally answer the question of whether or not we're alone in the universe and instantly change the direction of human advancement forever. Sadly, the standard argument against that possibility is pretty strong. To interact meaningfully with us, intelligent aliens would need to have mastered the ability to travel near the speed of light for astounding lengths of time, reach their technological apex at the exact same time our species is around, expend the unthinkable energy resources required to reach Earth, and then, what? Just strafe our Navy guys and dink around in the upper atmosphere? If they are intelligent, and they presumably know we've spotted them, why not make contact? Oh, just a flying saucer. Uh, excuse me, you can't park here. Well, one crazy theory that I think deserves more attention is playing out right now in Loki in the form of the TVA, or Time Variance Authority. 
What if these UAPs are time-traveling humans, coming back to observe or test tech, but with a built-in incentive not to interact with us directly? Thanks to Einstein, we know that time and space are linked, and that the simplest way to slow the passage of time is through incredible velocity. That's why astronauts return to Earth slightly less aged than everyone who stayed put. By that logic, reversing time would require an almost incalculable amount of speed. And the simplest way to build up speed is to rotate. Otherwise, your speed goes in one direction and you end up way the hell over there. My point being, the classic idea of a UFO that rotates in place makes a lot of sense if they're trying to reach time-bending speeds without moving in space. Not to mention, the classic depiction of these aliens that alleged abductees present often includes the gray archetype, tall, thin beings with no hair and big heads and eyes. Did you know that humans, over time, have gotten taller, thinner, lost hair, and their brain cases and eye sockets have grown in relation to the rest of the skull? If you project forward far enough, alien greys look an awful lot like what we might look like thanks to evolution, if we survive that long. Still no word on why they're always naked, though. Maybe future humans just love to party. So, there you have it. UFOs are called UAPs now, they're still unidentified, but in the meantime, IGN is here to let you know that they are probably almost definitely time travelers and not aliens. Also, Loki is pretty decent. For more on Loki, I'm sure IGN's YouTube channel has a ton of stuff you can check out. For more on stuff like this, check us next time right here on What Up Science.